Hey, 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 good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Well, grab a hold of that vine, swing right onto my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, we're going to do an Instant Pot Leak Night Warrior dish, and it's a copycat recipe, but budget style. And we're going to be doing Italian beef sandwiches. So, Grab a hold of that vine and swing on to my kitchen so we can get cooking. Good looking. Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today for our Instant Pot Weeknight Warrior dish. Let's remove our cover to our Instant Pots. Now, I'm just going to add about one tablespoon of oil down into my pan. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to push the saute button on. I have some cubed up beef. We're going to sit there, add all that to our Instapot. We're going to just brown it up. And while we're browning our beef up, I just want to sit there and put some salt and pepper down on inside. Now, along with the salt and pepper that we added, I want you to sit there and add a package of the Italian, uh, wishbone salad dressing mix. Well, I have some that I've already sat there and pre-made and I've always keep it in my Al Capone hideout container. And that's another story, but this container is very important to me. It holds lots of great memories. So again, I'm just going to sit there and add one tablespoon of the Italian salad dressing mix. Now I have my wooden spoon. We're just going to sit there and give everything a good mix because you want all them seasonings to go onto the meat and we're trying to also awaken them. Now I'm also going to add one to two teaspoons of this Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base. So let's go ahead and add that. And now I'm also going to add one cup of water. Let's add that water. Now give everything a good stir one last time. Okay, now let's grab our cover and lock our lid on. Make sure our vent is closed. Come down here. We're going to turn it off. We're going to come over and push the manual button and increase the time to 45 minutes. We're going to allow the pressure on the inside of our Instapot to build up. As soon as it builds up enough pressure, that's when it will do the countdown of 45 minutes. We're going to allow it to do a natural release for at least 20 minutes and then we'll come back and release any of the pressure they may be remaining on the inside of our Instapots. The Instapot sounded off. I took the beef out. I shredded it up. I went down here and 
I put the saute button on and right now I'm just uh, reducing the sauce a bit and letting some of that sauce go back up into the beef and then we're going to sit there and put it on top of our buns. And I think that it has reduced enough, so I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to push the cancel button. I grabbed myself a bun. Let's go ahead, open it up. I'm going to sit there and grab some provolone cheese because that's how we prefer ours in our <laughs> household. I have my provolone cheese down. Now I'm just going to sit there and get a different scoop. Now, let's go ahead, grab some of that shredded Italian beef, and spread it all throughout the length of your bun. Now, there's one thing you want to do with Italian beefs. I'm going to grab myself a little sheet of a... Uh, aluminum foil and we're gonna sit there and run it through the juices in the instapot and then we're gonna wrap it up in the aluminum foil and let it sit for maybe about five minutes. I have myself a sheet of foil. Let's grab our sandwich. We're gonna dip it right down on inside all them juices <laughs> put it right down onto our aluminum foil we're gonna give this baby a little wrap and we're gonna sit there like I said we're just gonna sit there and put it to bed for about five minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're going to open it up, and our bun is going to be all nicely steamed. All them juices are going to go right into the hoagie bread. And I'm going to get a container, because I'm a dipper. <laughs> and I like to dip mine. But until then, I'm going to put it right into my little takeout basket. I'm going to sit there and put my steak fries in there, and we're going to get ready to eat. Now, a lot of people will sit there and put some jaranera on theirs. Well, my family really doesn't care too much for it on there, but they'll have this stuff on other things. But I just wanted to let you all know. You can put some of that on yours. Now, some people sit there and tell you cheese is not supposed to be on an Italian beef sandwich. Well, we had Windy City that was right across the street from us, and we went over there and we ate quite a bit from them, and they always had cheese on ours. So that's how we're going to make ours just like Windy City made theirs. Now, I'm gonna sit there, open up the tin foil, and take out the steamed uh, roll, and I'm gonna sit there, grab some of the juices, because like I said, I'm a dipper, and I'm gonna put some steak fries also in my takeout basket. So let's go ahead and give a good look see. Oh look at that goodness. Do you see it? Look at that. Cheese is just starting to melt. Oh my goodness. 
And see how I told you it will soak right up into your bun. That's one reason why you want a hoagie bun. It upholds to the dipping and all the juices. Well, I can't just sit here and just look at it and point it out to you. I have to take a bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, really, how easy was that to sit there and make this copycat budget saver type of a meal that you can serve up to your whole family of a copycat Italian beef sandwiches, but we made it out beef brisket. Share, like, and subscribe. If you're a new subscriber to my channel, welcome. If you're not yet a subscriber, go up, tap that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And here's to happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. And y'all come back now, you hear? And have yourselves a great day.